Okay, so I'm going to show you um, quick office for Honeycomb, and uh, what we have, what you see here is when you open the application for the first time, you're going to see our file manager, and you'll see that we have used um, the Honeycomb um, operating system fragments to create our file manager that allows you to effectively navigate your file, um, very similar to what you see. Um, in your desktop environment. <clears throat> so very, very familiar interface. So let's just look at a document real quick and show you some of the features that we have. So you'll notice here that QuickOffice has redone our entire application to fit the Honeycomb uh, tablet. You, you'll notice that we have made some very significant improvements to our rendering. And uh, as you notice here, you, we, have, we render all types of objects as well as fonts and documents. Um, at the top here, you'll see the action bar that is part of the Honeycomb SDK, and you'll notice that when I, when I select um, an area of text, you'll notice that the action bar changes at the top. And we've, we've done a couple of very, very cool integration with, uh, with the Android system here. So one of the things I want to show you is our integration into Google Search. So I'm going to select on an area of text within the document, and I'm going to click Web Search, and it takes us straight to the browser, and it's gonna do a Google search of what we just selected. And once I scan through what I wanna see, I can go back, and when I go back, I'm back into the document as well. Um, another, another example of our integration, sorry. Sorry, gonna have to edit that. <laughs> I'm going to show you another example of our, our integration into, with Google. Uh, you'll notice here that I've selected an area of text, and I can do a text-to-speech by clicking on the speech icon here at the action bar, and you'll be able to hear. Imprisoned concert professional is threatened by new technology. Electronic alternatives become more important. And so you'll see that in there as well. All right. Okay, and we've also integrated, uh, what we've also built is uh, the cut, copy, and paste, as well as text manipulation. So you can change your fonts, you can change your font size, um, you can make the bold, italics, you can do text alignment, so you'll be able to drag your text um, into whatever alignment you'd like it to be, as well as color your text. Um, you can do text color changes as well as highlight changes. And you'll notice that on the document. All right. Um, I also want to show you we've integrated with the camera. So you can insert an image. You can take an image directly from your gallery as well as straight from the camera. So let's just take one from the camera for a second here. You're going to see here that's the door. Take a picture, click OK, and you'll see here that the picture just shows up in a preview of the document, and you can change the size, the, the height and width, mm -hmm. as well as the angle of rotation. And you click on here, and you'll see here that the image gets dropped straight into the document. We've also integrated um, with Android for the speech to text. This is a demo. And you'll notice here the text writes out pretty much what I said, and we've integrated with Google on that. So this is a quick word on, on Quick Office, and uh, we'll show you a quick sheet and quick point here in a second. All right. Um, let's take sheet. Okay, this is the interface for Quick Sheet on Quick Office for Honeycomb. And you'll see here that we have done a lot of improvements to our spreadsheet app. You'll notice here at the bottom, I can tab between different sheets. I can also create a new sheet. Very, very easy to use and touch friendly. Um, <clears throat> we've got a lot of actions here at the top. You'll notice that you can insert rows, insert columns, delete rows, delete columns. I can do text manipulation as well. And I can also border around uh, a cell. And if 
if I click on a, on, a, in a, on a row, you can see here that the keyboard changes specifically for numerics. It also has a tab button if I want to switch between um, tabs. also have the undo and redo as well. <clears throat> so this is what it will be in the landscape view. You can do a search if you want to look for something specific um, as well as back. you can also go to a specific cell if you have a cell. Okay, that's a quick sheet. Nice. All right, let me show you Quick Point. Um, so Quick Point is our presentation application, and you'll notice here that we are using fragments as well to uh, view your slide sorter. Um, we have integrated with Honeycomb to do drag and drop, and what I mean by that is we can effectively take a slide and drag it to change the slide sorter. Notice here we do visual editing, so you can select on an object, you can resize that object, and you'll be able to um, visually edit um, something that you want on, on that slide. So if you want to change the text here, um, as well as on, on bulleted lists. We've also integrated the picture gallery as well as the camera. So just like I showed you in Word, we yeah. can insert a picture there too. Creating a new slide. You'll notice here that on creating a new slide, you can effectively choose a template of slide that you'd like. Um, in this case, let's use this one. And that will create a new slide for that. To cover. Oh, I see you guys have a save as, so you can yes. basically save yeah. as. Okay, yeah, so let's go back into the document and let's do a save or save as. Sorry. So we can save the document or we can do a save as. When clicking save as, um, you can choose um, to save it locally on your device or you could decide you want to choose a um, cloud repository that you have. So in this case, I'll choose Google Docs. And in this case, um, I'll choose a folder within Google Docs and I'll save the document here. And you'll see here, this goes directly um, to Google Docs. So you'll be able to save documents to any cloud that you have configured. Um, in this case, wireless our connection. wireless connection yeah. is down, so. Okay, so it's also possible for you to search Sorry. Yes. Within, yes. Um, so let's let's do a search here. Um, this is the cloud aggregated search. So we can look for a specific document um, and do a search. And you'll notice here we search for that keyword across every single repository that you have configured. In this case, chose the wrong. <laughs> Let me try that again. Sorry. In this case, let's say doc. Let's try that again. Search. Okay, and you'll notice here. No, do it again. So you'll notice here that I'm searching for the word, the keyword doc, and it's going to pull up every document that I have um, and show me specifically what repositories that document's in. Okay. okay. And you can drag and drop to even any yes. file, right? So I can take a document here. Let's just say this document here, and I want to. Sorry. Should be able to drag this. And I'm not sure why it won't let me do that. <laughs> Probably because it's in the search. Let me. <laughs> Here we go. That's why you edit. 
Oh, come on. to Google Docs. Okay. Copy to Google Docs from Dropbox. Say go. Here we copy. Go. So yeah. copy from Google Docs to Dropbox. I'll yeah. work through the application seamlessly. Absolutely. Uh, so so it looks like you guys have a, a more robust um, offering for Honeycomb. Yes, uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Very robust. Now, now, I know you have the viewer on, on the Zoom. Correct. Probably Correct. Across most of the tablets, I'll be out. Um, when will this uh, version, or the full uh, suite, be available? The full suite will be available in the marketplace um, sometime at the end of March, so in a, in a matter of a week or so. Okay. Do you, and, do you uh, have a, a retail? You know, how much is it going to be in the Android market? I, I'm not sure on the price point, um, but I, but I can I can tell you it's not going to be as expensive. Um, I, I think typically our apps. Um, in the marketplace, depending on what promotion we're running, um, will range anywhere from fifteen to twenty dollars. Okay, okay. All right. for sure. Sounds good. Very nice. Well, thank you.